from Singapore, other countries like the UK and the US have approved the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. The US has also rubber-stamped its second vaccine, the jab from Moderna. China's Sinovac shot is gaining momentum both at home and abroad. The vaccine from Oxford's AstraZeneca is looking promising as well. And here's how they differ. Both of the Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna vaccines use messenger RNA technology. Now, the vaccines teach our cells to make the spike protein found on the COVID-19 virus. Well, our bodies will learn to recognize that the protein doesn't belong there and respond by making antibodies. Experts say this technology is safe and has been around for more than a decade. We can be very confident with uh, the mRNA uh, vaccine. It's uh, mRNA is uh, is destroyed quite quickly, so it gets in there if you like. It it delivers its its template, um, does its job, but it doesn't hang around. There's there's no chance of it, uh, for instance, getting into your own DNA. That that, that that's uh, physically impossible. So so no, I, I don't think we need to have any particular fears. Coronavac is being made by China's Sinovac Biotech using inactivated vaccine technology. Here, a weakened form of the live coronavirus stimulates our bodies to produce an immune response. This traditional method is used for vaccines like chickenpox and the flu. Another candidate is the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. It is made from a weakened version of the virus, which causes the common cold in chimpanzees. Now, the adenovirus is genetically modified with a small bit of the coronavirus's genetic code. When given to a patient, the vaccine triggers antibody production to guard against future infection. The end goal is all the same here, but uh, the efficiency... The safety properties and uh, each companies have their uh, proprietary expertise. Um, so in the case of uh, AstraZeneca and um, the Oxford team, I think uh, they have a lot of expertise in creating adenovirus delivered uh, vaccines. So they play to their strength of that. So Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna have a lot of uh, expertise in mRNA vaccines.